All right, guys, welcome back. And unless this is your first time here, I'm the Northwest Fisherman Chris, and today we're going to be unboxing the Six Cent Six Set. Um, if you haven't already, it would be really awesome if you would like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll get this thing cracked open and see what we got this month. Let's see what we got. Get rid of that box. We don't need that. Here's all the fun stuff. So, for those of you that don't know about the Six Sack, the Six Sack is a monthly subscription service from Six Cents, obviously. Um, all the baits in here are Six Cents baits. They change all the baits every month. I really honestly think. I may have a duplicate that I've gotten in the last year plus that I've been getting the six sack, but also at the same time too, I think it might have been a bait that I personally bought. Either way, still really good. Um, also, one very unique thing about the six sack is every month you get a a unique bait. Um, it'll be a exclusive color, exclusively only for the six sack. So. Let's get in here and see what we got. Um, let's go for a hard bait first. <clears throat> okay. So first up here, we have a Crush Mini 25MD. This guy dives 4 to 7 feet. It's a quarter of an ounce. And it's 50 millimeters long. And that color, I bet that's Gold Reactor. Yep. Gold Reactor's the color. These Mini DDs, or these, yeah, these Crush 25 and the, these little guys, I really, really like these, especially if you're scouting out an area, because you can just kind of, I wouldn't say burn, pause, burn, because you're not even burning it, just swim it normally, and then pause, so it never actually hits that full seven feet, and with the small as these are, you can fish these pretty shallow, I like these a whole bunch, so it's got that black back, Super shiny, reflective gold sides with the scaling on the back there. Plus, you've got the textured bits on here, the molded gill plates, nice little bill here, premium hardware, black nickel hooks, and these hooks are sharp. On the belly, we've got some light orange going up into red towards the front. Gold Reactor is one of those colors for me that it's not the first... It's not the first color combination I'll throw, but if I'm in stained, pressured water, I like to throw gold black. It's just it's just one of those colors. It's kind of like when you throw that silver-sided jerkbait with the black back. Same idea. Um, but yeah, gold reactor is pretty sweet, and I love this bait profile. Let's give this thing a listen. Nice, light, gentle rattle. That's what we like. So, this is definitely a good bait to throw. Plus, smallies will crush this. Okay, let's grab. Trying to feel out what's in here. Let's just grab this, whatever this is. Okay, so we got some aux flipping hooks. Um, these are four on. Let's go flip one of these out here. I actually like these quite a bit, and I'm guessing since how we got flipping hooks, we're going to get something else in the bag to rig it on. So these flipping hooks are your traditional flipping hook, but it's got this molded bait keeper on the front of it. Um, it works fantastic. I actually really like flipping hooks for a lot more things than just flipping. Um, yeah, just excited to see what we're going to throw that on. Oh, here's another hard bait. Okay, so we got a curve. 55 and chrome thread fin. This guy is going to dive 1 to 3 feet. It's 3 eighths of an ounce and 55 millimeters long. This guy's pretty sweet. I like these little curves. I also like the, uh, oh wow, I can't think of the name of it. Not the Curve 55, the other curve, the diving one. Um, anyway, 
Let's get your blue back. That's a hook knife. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Super sharp hooks. Like, and it's sharp enough, it just, it's just the point that got in my skin. Um, nice blue back with pattern on it. Nice scale action going on there. You've got that white chartreuse line running down the side. A little bit of brown there on the keel plate. Moving down to the silver belly all the way around. A very small hint of pearlish orange right there at that front hook. And this one, unlike the other one, this one has EWG style treble hooks. And I prefer these over the traditional hook. Okay, So you see how those hook points on the EWG point inwards towards that shank, towards the eye? It helps with keeping fish hooked. Um, and I prefer EWG style treble hooks versus traditional ones, but all the hooks from Sixth Sense are kind of ridiculously sharp, so be careful. Um, feels like we got two more hard baits. So the Hyper Jerk 70. Okay, so this is a bait that I really love to hate. Um, it's a topwater, but think of it as like a topwater jerk bait. Kind of. Um, it's not something that you're going to quite walk, and you're going to treat it kind of more like a popper, but you're going to go in succession with your pops, unlike a popper. <clears throat> so the color on this guy here is Rayburn Ghost, and 70 millimeters and 3 eighths of an ounce. So it's a top water lure. It's got the big oversized, or not oversized, but it's got the big EWG sail travel hooks. The rear one's feathered, and they are sticky. Um, so when you're fishing this, it'll sit on top of the water, and you'll kind of just pop it like you would a jerk bait. It doesn't really create like a splash, and it doesn't really create anything visually, but the sound on these, they make a lot of noise. So it's going to kind of be one of those things where you're like, pop, pop, pause, pop, pop, pause. And that's why I like to refer to it as like a topwater jerk bait. Um, it's a fantastic bait. I don't actually don't have this color. So you got your black back. The whole entire body of it is transparent. The top surface here is kind of a purplish color. And then you get down into more of a pearl kind of a reflective like decal. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. But it's all throughout the transparent part. You got a little goldish orange fin painted on there silver belly with a little gold on the back um of course talk about those hooks we already did that and this nice feathered tail this is a pretty pretty neat bait i definitely don't throw it as often as i should and i really like to throw it on those kind of like slick calm days um, I feel its subtleness is kind of lost in translation on the days where you've got kind of a breeze and the top of the water is kind of choppy. That's more of a topwater glide situation, in my opinion. Or like a buzz bait, or something along those lines. Alright. Oh, okay, so this is Crush Flat 75X. Dives 2 to 5 feet, 5 eighths of an ounce, 66 millimeters long. This color is sweet. It's called Lava Truce. All right, let's get this guy out of this box. So it's a flat sided square, uh, square bill. So it's going to have a much tighter wobble, which is going to be great for those of us that fish in super clear water or in highly pressured water. And the colors on this kind of scream highly pressured um, dirty water. Of course, you got those big oversized treble hooks, EWG style. Got this sweet paint style. This is awesome. It's a nice full size square bill. Nice full size. Um, you've got kind of a, it's not quite a beer bottle brown back. Uh oh, drop that call for a moment. Um, not quite a beer bottle brown, a little bit of green in it, maybe a purplish. It's kind of a complicated picture, and the camera's not going to do it justice. Um, you've got your darker red sides with your hits of that chartreuse right across the belly and on the lower portions of the gill plates. 
this is a wicked looking bait. And I thought several times about getting this bait or this color on different baits, including this one. Um, but I wasn't completely sold on how it looked in picture. But seeing it in person and being able to move it around, this is a solid bait because it's not even it's not even like a gloss color to it. It's not really a matte either. It's right there in between at that semi-gloss stage. This is a sweet bait. This is going to be really, really good. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we got an axle hybrid jig here. Uh, five out guy, three eighths of an ounce. Color looks to be green pumpkin is my best guess right now. Let's take a look. Exclusive color, green pumpkin black. So this is our exclusive for this month. So I really like the axle swinging jig and kind of what makes this cool. So I'm actually, let's let grab this because we already know this is going to be our trailer. So they sent us grass candy prawns and a 4.2. This is a cross style trailer. Um, I like this trailer quite a bit. I use it for several different things. Um, so you got your grass candy. So you've got your nice beautiful bass boat flake in there on that nice bright green on one side and a nice rich purple on the other side. Pairing that with the axle swinging jig. What makes the swinging jig really cool is the head swings separately than the hook. Now you're thinking to yourself, well that's kind of stupid, why would they do that? That would be because they have the screw lock right here in the middle. And I actually, I personally really prefer having swim jigs with these screw locks. So we'll go ahead and throw our trailer on here. You know what, we're going to make this easier on ourselves. We're going to cut that first digit off. Nice flat surface. I usually bite it off. Sometimes I cut it off. But I have the knife right there, and we're trying to be civilized for you folks at home. Getting it started is always that tricky bit. Once it's started, you just keep screwing it on there, just like that. Right on that screw lock. I am going to go purple side down. So usually with my screw locks, I take it almost all the way to that eye and then line it up, see where you want to come out. It looks like we're going to come out right towards the front of the body here. Push it through, pull it up, just like that. Oh, I guess I did a little bit too. Okay, we're going to try that again. We're going to move the hook back a little bit. Okay. There we go. That's much better. So you got your swim jig. Well, and that's because this also, this is the hybrid version. So it's got the hybrid head. So it's not necessarily just a swim jig. It can also do regular jig things. But it'll also do flat cover pretty well. Um... Get these flappers split apart here. Bam. There you go. Looks great. I like that purple on the bottom. That purple a lot. You can't really see it, but I like it. That's cool. Alright, so obviously this is what we're meant to put on that flipping hook. So let's go ahead and rig that up too. Rip these claws apart here. <clears throat> so when I'm rigging these, I like to go push it on all the way to where it starts to point, then come through, and then that part I will spin around before I get up on those hook keepers, and I will rig it just like. A little bit more. I like to go over that eyelet. Oh. We're not having good luck with this. I think I, I think I miss, messed this one up a little bit. 
There we go. That one's not quite perfect. Usually I do a much better job. But, there, for your flipping hook. Keeps it pegged. It's on the line. I like to cover that first knot there, so my weight protects it. It's protected against the knot. Plus, I found sometimes the my knot will get snagged up on extra grass versus like a smooth piece of line. There you go. Hybrid. Do everything. Swim. Do regular jig stuff. It's already set up for regular jig stuff. And a nice flipping hook. And these hooks are stout. These hooks are really, really stout. Um, that's one thing I can say about six cents hooks. They don't, they're not, it's not a cheap hook. Okay, like, I can't really, it's still true. I can't really, it'll flex, but it won't bend. Um, that's one thing I definitely noticed with six inch hooks. Like you literally have to snap it off and break it. I've only ever broken two six inch hooks and both of them were my fault and neither one was on a fish. So that's, that is this month's six sack for October. And I'm, I'm happy with, it. I'm super excited about these, about all these hard baits. These are all colors I don't have. And a color that I've been kind of eyeballing for a while. Um, i really like swim jigs and this hybrid jig will be interesting to mess around with because I can swim at one cast and the next cast I can just hop it on the bottom or do whatever I want with it. And flipping hooks, I've, I'm i never mad when I get quality hooks. Like there's no reason to be upset when I get quality hooks because I'm not spending precious money on hooks. Like I always feel kind of kind of let down if I make a giant tackle order and it's basically all hooks or weights and it's like wow okay I just spent all that money and I have two boxes of tungsten or a pile of hooks I don't know it just doesn't feel quite the same as getting baits so I don't mind getting quality hooks in my boxes but all right fall is very much so here um, we're coming up on that spooky day. Next Wednesday, I believe, is Halloween. That's super exciting. Um, just stay safe out there. Watch out for kids in the street, you know. And just, just yeah, get out there, fish around, check things out. All right, well, FAFO, fish around, find out. Take care, guys.